Today I'm going to show you how to import your contacts into church management from a CSV file. In order to have a great importing experience, there's a couple things you want to do first before inputting your CSV. In order to have a great importing experience, there's a couple of things you want to do before importing your CSV. The first thing you want to do is open up your CSV file and make sure that the CSV only contains columns and rows that you intend to import. Remove any extra columns or rows that may contain information you're not going to import today. Once you've done that, you'll also want to create custom detail sheets for any custom data that you want to import. If you're not familiar with custom detail sheets, I'd recommend checking out our support article and video before you proceed with the rest of this video. I'll provide a link in this article so you can find it easily. To begin importing, we're going to select the People tab and then select Import. You'll see this option where we can click Choose File, and we're going to go ahead and click that. And now you can select your file, and mine is within this folder and I'll select open. Now that our file is selected, we're gonna double check all of our fields. One thing to note is if a column is green, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's absolutely correct. Green just means that the system has detected what it thinks is a good match. So you're always gonna to wanna to double check these just in case something's a little off. So we can see that the first name looks correct, last name, email, and phone all look great, as well as address, city, and state. On the date field, I'm going to make sure that the date format is correct because if that format is different than the data I'm importing, it will cause an error during the import. So to do that, what we'll select is this field right here and then make sure that the format that appears here is what is selected in this dropdown, which in this case, we're good to go. Now it looks like we have two fields that haven't been mapped. Church management wasn't quite sure how to map these fields automatically, so they stay gray. That way we can choose how to map them manually. So what we'll do is click on this select a field to map to. And for this small group, I'm gonna scroll down until I see the group section. And then I'm gonna make sure it's set to each value as a group. What this will do is either put contacts in this group that's already created in management, or if that group doesn't exist, it will automatically create it and add those contacts to it. This next field didn't map either, and that's because it's using a custom detail sheet. Once again, if you haven't seen our article and video about custom detail sheets, I recommend looking at that. For this one, I'm going to search for the custom detail sheet that I've already created. I'm gonna select the field and then search for it. And we'll see I have this membership and membership status option. And now all you need to do is select continue and the import will begin. Once the import completes, you'll be able to click OK and then go into your contacts. And now you can see that the contacts are now in the system. And that is how you import from a CSV into church management.